everything's popping. What's up, gamers? Yeah, m m my media orifices are ready. Yes, my content hole is lubricated and ready to spout. Just obscene amount. Oh, of well, I mean, when I when I say like you know my media orifices, I mean like my eyes that I take in media through. Ah, okay. I should see my dad in Rangers HQ. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're back to playing Pokemon. We are. Some, a nice beach town. Some may say we've never I, stopped playing Pokemon. Oh I, wait, is this the Ranger HQ? The well, standard is Ranger HQ. I, okay. High quality. Kicked up, open the door. Hey, Dad. Or not. Hey, aren't you... Whoa, you're pork chips, right? The Chief's kid. Quick, someone get Kellen. Pork chips? What are you doing here in Beale Beach? I see that you have Pokeballs and a Pokedex. That's right, you're doing research with Professor Banbo. You're a Pokemon trainer now and everything. Pork chips, I'm at a loss for words. It's been so long since I last saw you. I should have expected your arrival. After all, there is a Pokemon gym here. It makes sense that you would come to Beale Beach. Still, I always wanted to give you a special tour of the Ranger HQ. This is the biggest Ranger station in all of West Tandor, and as you know, I'm the Chief. It's a job with lots of responsibility, so you understand I've been busy. Too busy to visit you in Moki Town. My goodness, you've grown so much, poor Chips. Traveling the region on your own? Of course, I was the same when I was your age. I was a junior cadet in the Almia region. Whoa, that's it. I don't think that's original. Yeah. Say, how is that boy Theo? You and he left Moki Town together, if I recall correctly. I see he's still following in your footsteps. You may have the makings of a good leader in you, just like your old man. Sorry to interrupt, Chief, but there's a letter for you. A letter? Mm. It's from Cameron at the new nuclear power plant. He says the construction is proceeding as usual. Soon the new plant will be fully operational. It certainly works fast, I'll grant that. We shall redouble our efforts. Mm -hmm. Still, a new power plant. So soon after the old one was destroyed. Yeah, that's a... You got some dramatic backstory there. Pork chips, I know this is sudden, but I have a favor to ask of you. I need to go to that power plant, to power plant Epsilon, and deliver my response to Cameron. It's important to proceed with caution. Lucille, your mother. Disappeared on that very island ten years back. It's important that we never forget that. Here, pork chips. Please take this. Well, all right. Hmm. I will send word to the power plant and tell them to expect you. I think that Cameron will be happy to see you too. I would come along too, but I have to stay here and train the new ranger cadets. I'm certain you can handle it yourself. You are my child, after all. Until next time, pork chips. Oh shit, Dad. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone always talks about their old man, but never about their new man. This building is the largest base of operations for West Tandor's Pokemon Rangers. We have one smaller outpost in Nautok City, and East Tandor has its own headquarters as well. Ranger Union here is fairly young compared to Almea's. In fact, Chief Kellen was sent here with some of Almea's other Rangers almost three decades ago to get the operation on its feet. Huh. I feel like there's probably a lot of post-game content here. We don't capture Pokemon like trainers do, but some of us keep a partner Pokemon. My partner, Staraptor, came with me all the way from the Almira region. I feel like they're teasing something here. I, I, I don't know. I think it's just re relevant to this, you know, location. Hmm. To this ranger. All right, well, you know, I think we should, we should have for there. I'm looking for a new member of the Pokemon team. There's probably some cool shit, yeah. at, like a nuclear facility. Yeah. Like nothing bad can happen. Yeah, something bad already happened there, which means nothing bad can ever happen there. Yeah, l l lightning won't strike twice. Exactly. N nuclear lightning. Lightning has only ever struck once only. Mm -hmm. Never more than that. Yeah, like Thor, he just did it once and said, oh, yeah, you know, not my thing. Yeah. He did it once, he was like, yeah, that was pretty good. Back it like, up. Like, I'll, 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 you know, he'll try anything once. Exactly. 
Just, just like the one slur. Hey, buddy. That's that's how that character got its name. <laughs> yes. This ship will take you to the nuclear power plant construction site. Hey, wait a sec. Are you pork chips? I got orders to take you to the power plant, but you're just a kid. What's Chief Cullen thinking? Oh, hey, Theo. Two kids! Pork chips, are you going to the power plant? I want to come too. <laughs> yeah! Uh Oh jeez, now there's two kids? I gotta radio the boss about this. Oh, okay. Hello, I got a situation out here on Route 7. These two kids asking you to go to the power plant. One of them looks like the kid that the ranger told us about. The other one's got crazy red hair. Kinda looks like boss's hair, actually. Huh? You serious? Alright. Boss says I should bring you both over. Don't know what he's thinking, but I got orders, so hop on, both of you. Ooh, I'm gonna see my dad. Huh. Really, uh, dads are real important here. Whoa, is this where dad works? This ain't no place for children. I don't know what the boss is thinking. Theo, pork chips! Yeah, it's in. Good, you two have arrived. Follow me, please. Dad, check it out. Me and pork chips are bone f bona fide trainers now. I don't know why I was expecting like bone tired. I got two badges and everything. I can see that. I'm very proud of you, Theo. It seems like I made the right choice to let you travel on your own. Well, I ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait. I'm going to become the best trainer ever. Ha ha ha. I'm sure you will. Now, pork chips. Kellen tells me you have something for me? Hmm. Hmm. I see. I see. I'm not sure what his reasoning is, but I have to respect the chief's wishes. Pork chips, your father wants you to see the ruined power plant. As you know, there was an accident that occurred here ten years ago, the one where you lost your mother, Lucille. I must admit, Kellen has been fixated on it ever since. It's understandable. That event changed his life, as well as mine. I was there on that day, after all. I'd been called in to do some repairs. Everything was working perfectly when there was a sudden, unexpected malfunction. I tried to save as many workers as possible. The last time I saw Lucille, she was headed deeper inside. I called out to her, but she disappeared. They never found her. I know this must be hard for you to hear. Perhaps seeing the plant will provide you with some much needed closure, but it's very dangerous. Although the radiation is cleared, there's something strange about the Pokemon here. You get to explore an abandoned power plant, Pork Chips? That sounds cool. I want to come too. No, Theo, you're going back to the mainland. Fuck off, son. But Dad! Portrait gets to go do it. Why? So why can't I? As your father, I cannot allow you to go. I expressly forbid it. It's far too dangerous. Kellen's wish is for Portrait to go. I can't disobey orders from the chief of the rangers. Besides, they have unfinished business there. I'm a trainer. I can handle wild Pokemon just fine. Not these ones. These are different. I won't have you anywhere near them. <laughs> no fair. Life isn't always fair, Theo. Now, I'll inform the boat captain to take you back to the mainland. As for you, Pork Chips, you have my permission to look about the island. The ruined plant is to the south. You ought to be cautious, though. If you need to heal, there's a machine in the rest house. Some of the worker he workers here are also Pokemon trainers. They might want to battle you, and above all, mind the wild Pokemon. They're... different. You'll see. I hope you can find what you came here for. Alright, well, hey. I said we were in the mood for a new Pokemon. So yeah. Why not get some fucked up ones, right? Yeah. Is this the rest house? Looks like it. Yeah. Whoopsie. Well, we got a bongo. Yeah, let's, let's crack that bongo open. This island's particularly dangerous, so we had this healing machine brought in to keep Pokemon workers' Pokemon healthy. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yeah. Pokemon are fully healed. Stay safe and come back here to heal often. What's up? Crack up on a cold one with bongo? This one's cold. Whatever it is. It's cold great ball. Yeah. Whatever it is that's going on with the Pokemon here, it's fascinating. I mean, it's almost certainly not good, but it sure is interesting. 
Hi there, you look like a trainer. I've got some supplies for sale that might come in handy. Oh, this is a shop person. Nah, Bongo gives me all yeah, of this. Yeah, only the basics. That's, that's all Bongo basics right there. Yeah. Pokemon here are so unsettling. Something about those blank eyes they have. Feels like there's nothing inside. Plus, one of them attacked me for no reason. I'd leave this place if the pay weren't so good. Pokemon attack people for no reason all the time, buddy. Do you know how a nuclear reactor works? Power is generated by splitting atoms in the radioactive fuel, which releases huge amounts of heat. That heat is used to boil water into super hot steam, which causes a turbine to turn, which produces electricity. Underwater cables then conduct that electricity out to cities across the region. Yeah, for some reason I thought you were going to say super hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, we're calling that super hot sauce, baby. Spicy plant. Halfly berry. That's not a normal berry, but sure. I wonder what it's oh, halfly, yeah. Like half life. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Hoo it, it, it probably has. It's probably growing here for a reason. Yeah, can't wait to eat it responsibly. You should be careful with the wild Pokemon here. Take this, it should come in handy. Want a Geiger counter? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, no, it would be a Gligar counter. True. There's going to be a lot of Gligar here. I thought that person was going to battle me. Ooh. You might find a Pokemon here. New friend. I love new friend. Oh god. Ooh. It's Kinect Monk, but Kinect green. Monk. I don't think I want a Kinect Monk, even if it is cool. This is like the, the nightmare form of Bongo. Yeah. Bongo Unleashed. Oh yeah, it would be Bongo Unleashed. <laughs> He's stretchy now. Yeah. Oh, whoops. That super effect. Oh, yeah, well, I guess you can still be a doctor type. My bad. Whatever, I have a connect one. Nothing wrong with that. New friend? New, like, actually new friend? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, I did say I was interested in having Noodle. one of these. Let's draw. I, I, want, I want to see what type it is. I want to. I want to see how fucked up it is. Uh, uh, see, you know what? This won't kill it, probably. W what was our hidden power again? Poison. Hey, well. Pretty sure it was poison. Yeah, well, let's try catching it. Yeah. Maybe give it some like medical attention. Hmm. Maybe we could get it some medieval attention. <laughs> well, like amputate it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, just general medieval attention. Mm -hmm. put on, let's put, some, put a helmet on it. Let's draw. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight evil. <laughs> hmm. Midnight evil. Sure. There we go. Noodle. Spoilers for Twilight Princess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Alright, let's, let's check this out. Whoa. Yeah, our first one. Huh. It's rad. Well, okay. Gamma Ray. <laughs> Didn't use that on me. Yeah, Gamma Ray. Yeah, really. Gamer Ray Sype. Well, I, huh. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in this. Yeah. Insert, you know, Alucard voice line here. I'm interested in this. I downloaded it from the internet. Yeah. I don't know what this does. What? It's so like, do, 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 do you know the thing? It's so like, nuclear types, they're strong against everything, but also weak against everything. <laughs> Okay. Except steel. Steel steel's the only thing that I think resists nuclear. Huh. Well, okay. I mean, I think it's worth it to just kind of walk around in this grass yeah. a bit. Yeah. Oh, what? oh, okay. Hey, this island isn't a playground. Or, I assume kids. that's what he said. Yeah, for kids. Oh, he's like super scientist. <laughs> yeah. He has... He went to science school twice. Oh, man. 
he's a doctor's doctor. Oh, you're mistaken. He's actually, you know, the doctor's doctor monster. <laughs> All right, well, we got some magnitude out here. Gonna get magnitude 10 right now. Okay, so. I guess it's fine. Let's get this tofu rang out my what face. Was it Mach 5? That was his car. Speed Racer? Yeah. Yes. Like, how many Pokemon, like, how many Pokemon could outrun the Mach 5? Uh, like, what's the top speed of that? Hard question. I don't know. You know, the Mach 5's top speed, you know, it's probably Mach 5. What does that mean, though? Uh, I don't know what Mach... I, like, I know it's a measurement of something, but, like, I think... I think it's, like, more than the sound barrier, I want to yeah. say. The sound, oh, I'm sure that there has to be like a, a good amount of Pokemon that are just like you know. Oh yeah, they can do that. Yeah, easy. They, I know like Pidgeotto is really fast. So does like Garchomp. You can like fly at plane speeds. Mm -hmm. Probably like you know Rayquaza. Got some crazy shit going on. I'm not paying attention when it says like this person's about to switch in. You want to switch the Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like going for experience. Whatever. This is fine. No reason to regret this match. If it's raining, this bubble beam will be strong as fuck. Life's great out here, Claude. You're no ordinary kid. That's right. I'm the son of Kellen. I'm a kid with a knack for invention. Oh, God. Oh, it's one of these. Oh. A Tancoon. Yeah, a Tancoon. Oh, hey. I might as well catch this, too. Yeah. I have a really low chance of actually like getting anything to paralyze as long as I've got my accuracy low or whatever. We're good, everything's fine. Oh, okay. You landed. This will be... That's right. <laughs> Oop. Because that's, uh, that's how that works. Um, might be difficult to catch these. Yeah, well, we, we, we got balls. That's true. Like the video game. Which style you gonna get? I think the person that can catch Pokemon the best isn't Bongo, but they got a bounty for us. Mm hmm. Lobster nice. Ball Bounty! Okay. Uh, I think Guac War. Yeah. Because they, they still have Poison Sting. Let me just, you know, needle, thing, needle things down a little bit here. I'm not, I'm not interested in looking at uh, these fucked up Pokemon. Yeah. Another one. Why not? Mm, no, that's Kostra. <laughs> that's like the, the, the fourth time I've said that today. <laughs> you have it on recording. Yeah, on recording. <laughs> I know that they're going to know that we hang out when we're not recording now. Yeah. And it was all in the context of Pokemon. Yeah. Hit you with some poison, some stang. Wait, is, what, there's a character called Sting, right, in something? I think so. I mean, I'm thinking, well, I mean, yeah, there probably is a character called Sting, but actually I was thinking of um, uh, the sword from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, you know, my favorite uh, character, Solid Sting. Yeah, uh, the, the hero killer Sting. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you know, we'll catch this too. It's always yeah. nice to have some variety. Wait, isn't that the same one we already have? Yeah. Variety. You never v know. Variety is, is the spine of life. Yeah. If, if it... I don't think it'll fit, but this one's name will be Variety Spine. Hmm. Which is a very good name. Spintinity. Sp variety Spy. Yeah, sure. I guess this would work too. Yeah. Variety speed. I'm gonna read that wrong a lot if we <laughs> end up going variety with this test, one. Variety test speed. Yeah. I mean, that's, that also just works as a name on its own. <laughs> yeah. Man, that thing was uh, doing some damage to Jackie. Mm -hmm. It was super effective with its gamma rays. Which can't be healthy. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, let's get some potions up in this. I said Jackie because I, I saw Jackie, but I meant Guapor. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, let's find some more fucked up friends. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh! Oh, okay. I, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, that's good. I don't know if I'm gonna use it because I already yeah. have a flying type, but like, hey, that's oh, yeah. creepy. Definitely gonna catch it. Yeah, like, like, like what if we took Tails and then, uh, get, I was gonna say, what if we took Tails, gave him wings, and then I realized, hey, okay, that's kind of redundant. <laughs> but you can, like, steer better now with the wings. Hmm. They kind of all got the coloration of that Mountain Dew fish. I, yeah, I mean, the, the, the Mountain Dew fish had, like, too much blue going on. Mm. Kind of, like, it, it didn't feel like the, the bright green on that one was, like, I guess as deserved. But, like, these, these I mean, like, it, it, these feel like, I mean, I like them. They're, they're, they, they, it feels appropriate for, you know, funky nuclear Pokemon. Tails. I like the outline that they have. Yeah. Makes them very distinct against the background. Mm -hmm. More friends. Oh, yeah, we never caught. Yeah, we didn't catch one. We might as well. Well, I guess we technically have. Get the fucked up variants. Because it's know? like a. Yeah. I wonder if you breed a fucked up one with a normal one, does, is the baby fucked up? Um. I don't know. I do know. Okay, so I think the. Because there is a. Like. I mean, well, it, it's been in the thumbnails. Uh, there is an Eevee. Oh. Huh. Like, there's an evolution of it. Oh, okay. I was going to say. So, uh... Like a, a nuclear Eevee that has, like, seven or so nuclear Eevee versions that it evolves into. Oh, no, wild. no. But, uh... Like, like I, I believe the way you would evolve that is, I think, you just evolve it with another nuclear one in the party. Hmm. Okay. You, you gotta irradiate your Eevee. <laughs> yeah, its cells just, are already kind of fucked up. I, I feel like you could evolve an Eevee into like a Flareon just by putting it in the microwave. I bet you could. <laughs> like, no, no, just no, nobody's ever tried because yeah. that'd be like that, that's a crazy idea. It's like you know, like, why, why get a uh, you know Firestone, Firestone when you can just leave your Eevee in a hot car? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Hot car. That, it, completely irrelevant to who it's typing. <laughs> like, if you named it Microwave, at least that would have been, like... <laughs> you can name any of these Pokemon Microwave. Yeah. Speaking of, like, I've got something in the Microwave that I need to go pick up. Uh... Alright, I'll go with you. Yeah. 